Hey guys, this is Nate with Bleep and Jeep. Today we are going to adjust the slop out of our trailer bearings. To get started, we only need a few basic tools. We've got some uh, gloves and some towels, rubber mallet, grease gun, screwdriver, and you need the right size socket with a breaker bar. Let's start by jacking the axle up in order to make it to where our, our tire will spin freely. Next, we need to expose our spindle nut. Now these are Dexter axles, so they're a little bit different than some other ones, um, but it's still pretty much the same basic principles. Um, I pop the little rubber cap off first, and then you gently take your mallet, and you break this free. It's really hard to do without bending it up, because it's pretty soft. There we go. And then, <clears throat> Using a screwdriver, and in this case I like to use two, uh, go ahead and pry the bearing retainer off. There we go. Um, a lot of other axles will have a cotter pin, but this is basically Dexter's ac uh, way of doing the same thing. Now spin the tire. Put the socket on the nut and crank it down just about as hard as you can. Dexter says uh, they like at least 50 foot-pounds here. So now, this is locked down. So we are going to break it loose, and you're gonna try to not let the wheel move as you're doing this. There we go. Break it loose, so it's finger tight. So not quite there. We're gonna go just a little bit looser. Now. You're going to tighten it as tight as you can with your fingers, and that's all the tight that it needs. You don't want to snug it down much more than this, otherwise you're going to have very hot bearings. Um, I've seen it, I've done it. This is the way that uh, the axle manufacturers recommend you do this, is just finger tight, and then you're going to take and put the retainer back on. Um, if it's out of whack just a little bit and you can't get your retainer back on, Oh wow, one of the few times that I've done this where the retainer went right back on. You want to err on the side of going looser, not tighter. So if you if it's not lined up, back it off. Don't tighten it down anymore because you don't want it to be too tight. Just right. Now if you look closely, you will see a grease zerk right in the center of the wheel. So what I do is I spin the, spin the tire like that and then I start greasing it. And it'll help spread it around and get it to where you can pack grease in there. It's not all just gonna favor one side. Keep it spinning. And you're gonna see as it comes out, it's gonna come out of everywhere. It's not gonna just come out of the high spot or the low spot or wherever the easiest place is. There we go. See how it just kinda came out from all, all directions? That's what we want. We wanna fill this thing with grease. Get one more pump. That's good. Now you want to reinstall the cover for your spindle nut. Again, just use the uh, mallet. You're going to get a little bit of grease. Just kind of coming out of wherever, so wipe it off. I put a few extra pumps of grease in there. Because, in my opinion, you can't have too much. And uh, I like to tow cross country. I don't want to mess around. Now when you're all done, you're going to notice there's going to be a little bit of play when you shake the top of the wheel like this. That's normal. A little bit of play is not a big deal. Uh, when it's excessive, you know that it's time to readjust. If you tighten the crap out of it and you still have play, that means you need to put a new bearing on it. Uh, in this case, all my bearings are pretty good. So I'm going to go through one by one and I'm going to readjust every one of these, grease it up, get it ready for the trail tomorrow. So, as you can see, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. You don't need a whole lot of hand tools. No reason to go and take this to somebody and pay them to do that. Um, what I would recommend is maybe looking into the type of uh, grease you're using. Double check with the manufacturer, make sure that it's rated. In my experience, you can pretty much use anything these days. I like synthetic stuff, but whatever. If you like what you saw, you learned something, make sure you like the video, subscribe to our channel, as of today, we have 893 videos. 
So there's a lot of content on this channel if you've never been here and a whole bunch of how-to stuff just like this. So support us on Patreon. We have a whole bunch of discount codes now on our uh, on bleepinjeep.com. So if you wanna get different four x four stuff or just automotive stuff in general, there's a whole bunch of discount codes for all these different manufacturers that we're working with and they're gonna save you money, which is pretty cool. So anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.